Mr. Jones baked a cake on the same day. His cake was also very tall. He put green icing on his cake. He stuck lollipop trees on top. As children begin to read on their own, they need lots of practice to get better. They need to be able to read words accurately with expression and at a good speed. They need to feel comfortable reading so that they don't just read the words, but also understand the meaning. Teachers call this fluency. Cheat, straws, tater tots, and corners of grilled cheese sandwiches. If your child has difficulty reading out loud and at a good speed, or if your child reads the words but doesn't understand what he's read, here are some ideas to help him improve. To increase fluency, follow these three steps. First, before reading, ask questions to help your child focus on the story. Second, read the story to your child and then help your child read the story to you. Third, after you read the story, ask your child questions about it. Okay, Marisa, we're going to read this story. The story is The Two Best Cakes. Look at those pretty colors on those cakes. What do you think this story is going to be about? Two cakes. Two cakes. What do you write out over there? Make a list. Children will learn more about a story if you ask some questions before you start reading. Okay, what else do you think it's going to be about? Could it be a birthday cake? What do you think? A party cake. A party cake, so you think it's a party cake? Don't worry about spelling. You mainly want her to get her ideas on paper. When she has one or more ideas written down, then it's time to read together. Okay, let's read the story and let's see if we can find an answer to all these ideas that you have in here, okay? The two best cakes. Mrs. Diaz, Sit next to your child so that both of you can see the story. Read the story out loud to her. Try to read with expression. For example, use an excited voice when you read, Wait until Mrs. Diaz sees this! Point to the words as you read them. Read slowly enough that your child doesn't get lost or confused. This helps her become familiar with the story and learn new words and how to pronounce them so that she can read more smoothly. Mr. Jones baked a cake on the same day. Mrs. Diaz decided to carry the cake next door to show Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones decided to carry the cake next door to show to Mrs. Diaz. He walked down the street. It was hard to see over the lollipops, but he didn't have far to go. Mrs. Diaz didn't see Mr. Jones coming. Mr. Jones didn't see Mrs. Diaz coming. <laughs> what do you think about this story? What do you think happened at the end? That they crashed into the into each other in the in the cake. Yes, exactly. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. They crashed into each other. Why? Because the cakes were... So tall. So tall. Hey, Marissa, do you like singing? No. Mm. <laughs> Does mommy like singing? Yes. <laughs> you do not know that, right? That mommy likes singing. Okay, you know what we're going to do now? We're going to read this together like if it were a song. Okay, together. Ready? The two best cakes. Now read the story again. This time, ask your child to read out loud with you. It's kind of like singing a song together. As you did the first time, point to the words as you read them. Help her pronounce words that she doesn't know. This helps her read with comfort and with accuracy. Reading a story more than once is a good way to help her feel more confident about reading. The cake was very tall. She decorated it with glitter icing. She stuck pinwheels on the top. The cake looked great. Let's, let's look at your list that you did, okay? So were there party cakes? No. Well, yeah, okay, not exactly. Well, we don't know, you know, maybe they're gonna take them to a party later, but sure. 
Go ahead. After you've read the book, go back to her list and see if what she wrote down before you read the story actually happened. Ask her if she was surprised about anything in the story. Tell her if you were surprised about anything in the two best cakes. It doesn't matter if she was right or wrong. The idea is to get her thinking about the story before and after she reads it. This is a good way to help her understand the story better. And there were two cakes. Good job, Marisa. Very good. So let's talk about this story. This is a little crazy if you ask me. How did it start out? What, what happened in the very beginning? Um, Miss, Mrs. Jazzly liked to bake cakes. Mm -hmm. she, and what happened after she liked to bake cakes? What did she do? Um, she baked a cake and... Uh -huh. There is what another activity that will help your own. child understand and remember what he has read. After you've talked about the list, ask him, what did we find out at the beginning of the story? Then ask, what happened next? After he tells you, keep asking, then what happened? When you get to the last part of the story, ask, what do you think happened to Mrs. Diaz and Mr. Jones and their cakes? They went next Who went? Who went first? Do you remember? Mrs. Diaz, we went to Joe. Mr. Jones. Jones. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Jones was going to hers. Uh -huh. And then they're in front of each other. And then they bumped into each other. Oh, uh, what do you think that place looked like? What do you think each person had all over them? Um, green frosting and a pinwheel. And um, lollipops. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a delicious mess. Mm. Delicious! Yeah. If you or your child gets tired, stop and come back to the story and activities on another day. The more your child enjoys reading and doing the activities, the more fluent in reading she will become. Note you can use these same activities with another story or book. You can follow the same order of activities or choose the activities that you think will be most helpful and most fun for your child. Hey mom, could I read it to you? Hey sure, come on. Go ahead. The two best cakes. Mrs. Diaz liked to bake cakes. She wanted to be the best baker in town. Start with the two best cakes and do the activities on this sheet. When your child gets better, you can move on to another tip sheet. How many elephants will fit in a school bus? Reading fluency number two. Finally, the most advanced fluency tip sheet is my favorite stray cat. Reading fluency number three. If your child is having a hard time with these activities, talk to your child's teacher. There may be another tip sheet or other activity to help. If you enjoy these activities, tell your child's teacher. The teacher may have more ideas to share for learning fun at home. Mrs. Diaz didn't see Mr. Jones coming. Mr. Jones didn't see Mrs. Diaz coming. Mm, I love that story. Every time you get to the last part, I can just imagine that those um, two poor neighbors crashing into each other. 